Well, it's Friday. It must be time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. I'm here with Excel is Fun. Mike Gerben from Excel is Fun. We're live at Highlight Community College. Uh, this is our episode 147, How to Avoid Sheet Reference Syntax from the Current Sheet. So here's our situation. I'm on the sheet and we want to come up with a total form. Then we have to look back at another sheet. And this is one of these things where I'm going to be building uh, several different arguments that are going to be pointing at this sheet and if I just start to do it the normal way equals sum ifs it says it wants the sum range so I head off here to the table and specify my sum range control shift down arrow comma and now it wants criteria range one but I don't even remember what the original data was I need to go back and so I'm just going to escape out of this and instead I want to do view new window and then view arrange all vertical now on the left side, I can see the original data. On the right side, I can see the table. All right, so now I can see everything that I need uh, on here on this screen. So we start out with equal sum ifs. And when it asks me for the sum range, I just click over here, control shift down arrow, comma. Then it needs to know the criteria range. So we're going to look for uh, product is next. Missed. Control shift down arrow. I want to make sure that I start in row two because this criteria range has to match uh, that range. Comma is equal to this product here. First click selects that window, second click selects the right that thing. That is cool. And then criteria range two, that's gonna be region. So we click over here from B2, control shift down arrow, comma, and then come back to east. All right, so a couple of advantages here. Advantage number one is I get to see both sets of data that I'm dealing with, product first and then region. Probably wouldn't have mattered, but you know, at least I know which columns to highlight. Uh, and then benefit number two is that we are not getting uh, this A4 and this B4 does not have the sheet reference name before it. So uh, good way to uh, to go there with the view, new window, and then arrange all. Mike? Well, yeah, very nice. I use that trick often when I'm creating formulas between lots of sheets. All right, I'm going to close this. So. Um, Zach Barisi taught me this trick. Are you kidding me? Some ifs. Control A to open the arguments or, whoops, or some ifs, Shift F3. And the sum range, now check this out. I can just zip back and forth. And I'm going to Control Shift Down Arrow, Tab. Now I'm back on this sheet. Oh, I need to go back over there. That's OK. I'm in the criteria one. I'm going to go over to the table. Control Home. And in the region, Control Shift Down Arrow, Tab, Criteria. And watch this. I think I did, yeah, B. That's region. No sheet reference. I love it. The sheet references are up here, but not there. Using this dialog box totally helps with that problem. All right, criteria range. 2 is going to be the product, so I'll go back over here, Control Home, Control Shift Down Arrow, Tab, and now I simply click on the criteria. That is Control a slick, Enter. Slick trick. All right. Wow. I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. And Excel is fun.